Good evening, this is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital, uh, September 10th, 2009. I want to review some ready fire aim trades in Cleveland Cliffs, symbol CLF, from our trade room today. Um, these worked out to be a, about a total of 20 R by the time we got done with it. So Cleveland Cliffs is always on our short list of things to watch, as you can tell by the dotted blue line here. We're always interested in it when it, in, when it is in an oversold condition and starting to make a move up. So yesterday it closed well after a harsh sell-off, had a nice tradable uh, close. And, uh, and then it gapped up and then failed sharply back down to a common support level around 26.18. Uh, after that morning sell-off, we see the morning hook, and in the usual way, we buy the uh, a couple pennies above the first green candle and the second green candle right here with the stop of um, uh, 10 cents. Using our one bullet risk of $250 gives us a position size on the first trade of 2,500 shares. It performs well, orderly pullback. We're already at no lose by this point. In the uh, two yellow circles you see some continuation entries where in each case I'm adding an additional bullet of $250 risk capital but I'm using a, a 20 cent trailing stop uh, because I want to stay in this trade a little bit longer uh, and that gives us 1250 and 1250 shares each time um, we get an outstanding burst all the way up to 2735 which worked out to be yesterday's swing high and then started to fail, didn't stick around. Uh, we get an average exit of 27.18 on all the shares, uh, which works out to uh, 7.8R on the first batch, uh, which was a 78 cents per share gain, uh, which is not bad. That's like um, that's like a 4% intraday move. Uh, and then on share or uh, trade number two from this yellow circle and trade number three from that yellow circle, we gathered in another 4R um, on the continuation patterns. So a really nice trade at 12R. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, thought that was a good day at work until uh, it, after that orderly pullback, which, is, which shows up right about here. Uh, I missed this trade here in the middle, uh, but we pick it back up. Uh, at little around uh, 1205 central time again with a orderly pullback a retest sideways got that little shelf action moving on start buying on this uh, uh, nickel nickel above the of, above the doji with a 10 cent trailing stop again at, now we're in at 26.23.1 uh, on the um, initial stop uh, we get an exit at uh, 26.48 for 1.5R. Uh, I very quickly realized that I'm that I get scared out of that, and uh, five seconds later, uh, I've re-entered at uh, 27.53 on this green line with a 10 cent trailing stop. That turns out to be a pretty good decision to be able to recognize and reorient quickly. Uh, I put a second bullet on it here at 26.50. I'm sorry, 2668 with a 20 cent trailing stop. So again, we're working with 2,500 shares and 1,250 shares. Um, get a burst up, get a, uh, a test of 28, and get a nice uh, exit at 2790. And um, so that nets out at about another 7.5R. So between those two cycles of trades in that day, um, there's a, almost a 20R. Uh, looking at us right there on a day when the market uh, was reasonably up but not extraordinarily up. Cleveland Cliffs was just in the wheelhouse and uh, performed real well. So while that was going on, there was also this other move going on in, um, in McDonald's. Uh, it had a uh, large gap up. This was, a, this was a maximum pain, so it's one of the oversold ones. And uh, so maybe somebody was buying value, and so they pushed it up at the at the open, cleared the order book, harsh sell off, find support again, just a little bit above yesterday's support level, uh, where it rallied, one and two times. So it starts rallying here. You see the volatility declining, and we start getting this this move here, 
so we get an entry at 54.98. Uh, we're risking one bullet with a 10 cent trailing stop, 2,500 shares. Um, and then within an hour, we get a nice exit at 55.15 for 1.7R. So that's not as explosive as uh, Cleveland Cliffs, um, which, by the way, went on to trade higher than 28. Uh, and uh, there were some more trades in that cycle that didn't show on that chart, just haven't gotten around to marking them up. Uh, so Cleveland Cliffs was extraordinary, but at the same time, Mc, um, McDonald's was offering us some moves uh, intraday that are that are also very tradable, not as volatile as Cleveland Cliffs, but still uh, reasonable trading material. So that's a quick look at the uh, Max Payne um, and uh, Ready Fire Aim technique from September 10th, uh, a 20 plus hour day. Uh, all work through the chat room and with other people tagging along and enjoying the ride with us. So thanks for your attention.